Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out some new music to the channel. Now this is a uh, request from uh, Louis over on Ko-Fi. He joins me over there and he likes to uh, give me some killer music to check out. And I'm hoping this is going to be more of that. Um, he's been batting a thousand so far, so I'm looking forward to it. Now, um, as far as this album goes, it's Ty Tabor. Uh, I guess he's from King's X, and it's called Sister Genocide. Now, from what I can figure out, this is an upcoming release. Um, it says that the album, <coughs> it's going to be released on March 3rd. It looks like 2022. So um, this is, uh, I guess, an early release of a single here. So we're going to check it out and see exactly what we got going on. Why don't we get started with that right away? Ty Tabor. Never, I don't even know who that is. And not that I know who I've heard of King's X, but I've never really followed him. So I don't, if he's a singer or I don't know what, but I guess you'll let me know. Uh, let's check out Sister Genocide.
minutes, four minutes. Yeah, that was cool. <clears throat> I really liked that. That was an uh, interesting uh, technique in a lot of ways. Not only the guitar tone during the lead, like I mentioned, but also um, the a lot of the guitar tones, like when they would break down and it would be just like the guitar and in a solo and a drum, no bass, no nothing. Uh, just interesting how they did that and very interesting tones they used. Almost sounds like a garage band, uh, you know, home recording at some points and then it just really comes in full, you know, and kind of, uh, you know, big. Uh, uh, musically speaking, uh, lyrically, that's a whole nother thing. And I don't, I, I see what the song was about. I get it. But um, musically, it was cool. I liked the different, I like the production technique of it. I mean, let's not get away from the fact that it did sound like uh, vocally a little bit like Stephen Wilson. Um, in some, in, in not only the the effects but the tone and the the melody sort of you know just gave a real steve wilson vibe maybe that's what he was going for not a bad thing to aim for in my opinion i liked it i thought it sounded great i thought he did a great job uh now it's mentioned king's x so i don't know <clears throat> ty is he the uh singer for king's x or or the guitar player i don't know uh, could be, could be right. A very guitar oriented song, frankly, uh, with several different guitars uh, going on there, which was great. I really liked those breakdowns, the way he did that. It was so uh, kind of unexpected, but also just different, you know, to me, the way he did that. So that was f a fun part of the song as well. But, uh, you know, just kind of a real simple, uh, a real simple couple of chord song, you know, for the most part. But the way he layered it was just really, really interesting, I thought. And at one point towards the middle, there was kind of a, in a heavier part. I really liked that guitar, uh, you know, the guitar, distorted guitar rhythm, you know, lines that he was doing. The progressions were really cool. I thought they were very... Uh, you know, simple, simple moves, simple chords, but in contrast to what else was going on, it really, because it was a slower, methodical song, basic rhythm, throwing in some of these chord All right, sorry. <sighs> this thing, just touch it and it just, my microphone stops. So those chord inversions uh, were awesome. It just really enhanced the song because it was so methodical and kind of purposeful. Uh, and even if you wanted to sort of, you know, kind of throw them up against the lyrical content too, uh, you know, it kind of gave a little more of a pulling sense, you know, uh, kind of a pulling you away from what was going on to into what he's doing, which was a little bit uh, more abstract, I think, and just a little more sinister in a way. Mm -hmm. Not too sinister, but lyrically, terrible, terrible theme, terrible theme. Just, But, you know, if you don't preach about it, no one's going to know about it. <clears throat> All right. Well, cool. Louie, great job. I thought that was great. Um, I guess we'll have a lot to look forward to with a new album coming out. What would it say? March 22nd, I think, is what it said on Amazon. Uh, I couldn't find it on Spotify, not even the single. I got this off of YouTube. But I did find the um, the album on Amazon for sale, or pre-order anyway. So if you want to if you liked what you heard and you know Ty Tabor and you want to get in on it and get your pre-order in, um, you know, I don't have any links or ties to Amazon, but, uh, you know, it's available there. Probably other places, too. Um, I just didn't see it on Spotify yet. I think it's I think I saw something about 
uh, oh, pfft. you know, the other, the other music service. Anyways, um, why am I, Apple, God, Apple Music or whatever it's called now. Um, God, that was weird. Anyways, um, I think I saw something there uh, where it might be available if you guys are Apple users or whatever. So uh, check that out. Very cool song. Thank you guys so much for uh, checking out this new band of this uh, channel and upcoming new album. Awesome. A lot to look forward to. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys down in the comments. Let me know what you think or what you know about Ty because uh, uh, it would really help out as far as my knowledge goes, especially if we move forward with more of this music, you know, I'd really like to learn more about these guys. And if you guys are knowledgeable about them, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And you can do that down in the comments. So we'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a great day. I appreciate you all. Check out my Patreon and my Ko-Fi, great places to recommend songs. Helps me out when you do it over there. And I really am thankful for Louis and uh, his support over there. Another great pick. I must say, you know, another great pick. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.